Hi, welcome to the second week of our exploration of SQL for data analytics. My name remains Austin Watts, and I'm super excited to continue this journey with you. This week, we shall focus more on dealing with or writing some interesting SQL syntax. We'll begin by understanding the database we'll be working with throughout this course. You know, for our practice and our learning, okay, we'll be working with the Chinook database. So in a very short time from now, I will explain or describe the Chinook database as presented in the classroom. I hope by now you are, you know, enjoying this, this, this journey so far. I believe by now you now understand the basic meaning of SQL, you know how to create a database, and you've learned how to import data into the created database. So having said that, let's begin as we jump into the classroom and uh, start talking about the contents for the week. Yeah, this is the classroom. Welcome to the classroom. Here's the stream part. Let's get into the classwork. So for week two, this is the third course for this cohort, week two, SQL for data analytics. We'll begin with uh, the Chinook database, just like I said earlier. Let's open this material and talk a little bit about the Chinook database. So the Chinook database is actually a sample database that is used for the purpose of learning, all right, and training. So, and that is the reason why we're using this database to, to teach you how to, you know, uh, how uh, to learn about SQL. Okay, so it is uh, for teaching and training purposes in the field of database management system. Now, it is an open source database that simulates a music store with information about customers, employees, others, products, and sales. Please take note of this, um, of this, uh, what's it called now? These are uh, attributes, okay? We have customers, we have employees, others, products, and sales. All of these components are what make up the uh, Chinook database. So the, data, the database is named after the Chinook salmon, okay? Which is a species of fish native to the Pacific Northwest region of the North America. Okay, so here is me introducing the dash, the I mean the database we've created earlier from last week. Okay, uh, it's it's important that we understand what we're doing. All right, so it's good that we talk about this so that we appreciate whatever we're doing. We have you know broad understanding or uh, of the different SQL queries that we're writing throughout this training. So the Chinook database is important for training purposes, please take note, because it provides a realistic and practical example of a database that can be used to teach students and professionals how to design, create, manage, a, and manage a relational database. It allows us, uh, it allows individuals to practice querying, uh, to practice querying and data manipulation using the structured query language which is fundamental skill for anyone working with databases so since you're going to be working with databases and uh, we know that as a data analyst you need to query databases you need to understand the syntax you need to know how to create database you need to know how to update a database and that is why we're bringing these or that's why we're using this important or interesting database to teach you how to query and work with databases uh, moreover, the Chinook database is well documented, right, which makes it easier for learners to understand the schema and the relationships between tables. Additionally, it is available in various formats, including SQLite. The Chinook database is available in SQLite format, my SQL format, SQL Server, PostgreSQL, and Oracle, which means that learners can use it with a wide range of database management systems. So here in this training, Instead of getting the MySQL version of the Chinook database, I have given you or give you the, the, the process or the procedures to 
creating this database from scratch. So in uh, the first week, we've been able to create the database both on a server and creating it in a local instance. So in this, uh, from today's lecture or from this video uh, going forward, uh, you learn how to create relationships, right? From this module, you learn how to create relationships between the tables of the Chinook database. And then uh, we're going to talk more about the ERD diagram. The ERD represents the entity relationship diagram. Now, because by the time we get to uh, the point where we have to query this database, you have to understand the, the ERD, I mean the ERD, uh, I mean the entity relationship diagram for, for, for easy and uh, swift querying of the database. So having said that, uh, let's quickly look at the ERD. So this is the Chinook database ERD diagram. Uh, so it has this uh, 11 tables, okay? Uh, the media types, the genres, the playlist, playlist track, tracks, and so on and so forth. And you can see the connections here, the relationships created that is formed uh, between these tables, okay? But the one we've created in my SQL workbench, here is the entity relationship diagram that is yet to be connected because we've not created the relationships, we will have to create the relationships in this particular module. But once you upload the tables uh, into the database you've created, this is exactly how your ERD diagram will look like. So after creating relationships, we'll see the different look it will have. But for now, I expect you all to have this at this stage, okay? I'll show you how to get here in the next video. All right, thank you once more for choosing Datafied Academy. I hope you enjoy your training experience so far. So please, if you have any questions for me from this particular video, leave the questions in the comment section, like this video, share it with your, uh, you know, with your friends and let them know about Datafied Academy. Thank you very much once more for choosing Datafied Academy and see you again in the next video as we continue our journey uh, through this, uh, until, until we con oh. as we continue our SQL journey. All right, thank you, goodbye. It's not easy to actually make content. Okay, bye-bye, guys.